You guys don't lose four games in a row very often. Just kind of what's the state of the team right now? How are y'all feeling? Uh, you know, it's just everybody's obviously down. Nobody here wants to lose. We all show up to the park every day wanting to do our best. And that's the end goal as a team. You know, that's that's the whole goal. You come here to win, and you want to win every game you can. And, you know, recently we've been losing a lot of close games. We just haven't been coming through. And there's a lot of lessons to be learned. And one of those is just learning that the little things add up and the little things can make the difference in a lot of wins in your season. Because the past four games, we make one play here, one hit there, maybe one batter that the guy pitched to, whatever. You know, we could have it flipped around really quick. Yeah, I mean, um, it's definitely frustrating. Um, you know, especially for me, um, you know, like hasn't said, the little things do matter. And, you know, we're getting 14, 15 hits a game. You know, we're out hitting another team, but uh, we're leaving too many runners in scoring position. And, um, you know, honestly, the lineup's just not clicking. And, um, you know, we're, we're off to a slow start. And uh, we, we need to, you know, uh, figure some things out. Um, you know, for instance, like tonight, like, I got a sack. I should have sacked the ball, and I didn't get it down. Who knows, that could have been the difference in uh, the game. And that's on me. It's on nobody but myself. Uh, I should have did my job. And uh, just little things like that, it, it definitely matters. But it's it's definitely frustrating. Casey, what, what have these last few days been like for you, struggling, benched, and now back in the starting lineup and four hits today? Um, yeah, now, um, coach called me that day and uh, told me I wasn't going to going to play. And I just flat out told him, I said, honestly, like, I don't need to play. Um, you know, you're right. I need to sit out. I need to put somebody else in there that, uh, you know, will, will generate some momentum for the team. And I wasn't doing my job. So, um, you know, you can't take things for granted, obviously. And it sucks, you know, being a junior and uh, playing the last few years in the lineup. But at the same time, you know, we all want to win. They want to win. Um, coach wants to win. And, um, you know, when I'm not doing my job, especially being an older guy, uh, something needs to change. So um, it, it was definitely frustrating. Uh, you know, my mental side was just really bad, and uh, just in my head a lot. And um, you know, it, it, it was good to you know sit back and actually get a different perspective on the game the other night. And I thought Coach did the right the right thing by sending me. Um, you know, nobody's position is uh, definitely stuck there. Obviously, you know, you don't do your job, then you know it's going to happen. And um, so, I mean, it's good to see you know younger guys get on the in the um, the lineup and. You know, play the way they did. No, Lee Gregory, um, he did a good job. And more stepped up at shortstop. So it, it was definitely good to see that we could depend on those guys and not just, you know, a certain few. Casey, you hit the ball hard a couple of times today. Did did the stance look more like when you were a freshman a little bit, or are we just imagining that? Yeah, no. Um, that's kind of what me and Coach talked about. Um, I decided that um, after talking with him that we just need to simplify everything, take out the leg kick, and just see the ball. And, um, you know, it's going to a toe tap like uh, Franklin and Nesbitt, and that will help me slow it down. And it was good to see that that it's, uh, you know, paying off. But, you know, just because I had a, you know, four hit night, I mean, it doesn't mean anything. I need to uh, continue to come in and work at it and uh, get better every day and um, continue to, you know, just improve. Because, you know, at the end of the road, we're going to need all nine guys in that lineup and maybe a few more off the bench. The ninth inning punt, was that on your own or was that, did they call that for you? Um, coach said if he moves back, then, you know, lay one down. And um, I was seeing the ball pretty good tonight. So, um, you know, he came up and then he backed off. And um, it was good to see that, you know, I had that, that, uh, that trust in myself that I could get it down. And Coach had the trust in me to get it down because, you know, that's a tight situation. You know, typically you don't want to bunt, obviously. But, um, yeah, no, it was definitely good to see. Heston, what, what's Casey been like the last few days, and how good was it to see him come out and have four hits tonight? Oh, you know, he's just been a good teammate, like he always been, whether he was in the lineup that one day or not. He's just doing everything he can to help the team. And, you know, it's baseball, you know. Some days you're going to show up, you're not going to hit, and some days you're going to come here and have four hits like he did today. And he's just showing up with a good mentality and being a good teammate, and that's all you can ask for. You're going to have good days, bad days, and – Great ones too, so you just gotta keep it rolling. It's a long season. You just gotta keep showing up, working hard and getting better. You guys are the two vets, two leaders on this team. I know it's early, fourteen games in or a couple games in. 
how do you uh, approach it with these guys and, and kind of step up and be leaders? Oh, you know, it's, it's the way the game is. And it's honestly a little bit good that we're experiencing a little failure early because it really shows the identity of yourself as a player and as the team, you know, how you respond to failure. It's so easy when you're having success to keep it rolling or being in a good mood. But how do you respond when things aren't going your way? and stuff isn't working for you, that really shows who you are as a person, who you are as a team. And I think it'll help a lot of us as players further on down the road to help us win more games. Yeah, no, I mean, I'm with Hess and honestly, just piggyback off that. Um, you know, maybe after the Gonzaga series, we got a little, um, you know, big headed maybe. Um, we might've took it a little bit for granted. And we walked into Houston, like, you know, we own the place. And um, I think it's, as much as I hate to say it, I think it's good to see that, uh, these guys just let them see they know we're gonna lose games. Um, we're gonna lose close games. I mean, that's what four by one run, three by one run. I mean, obviously it sucks, but um, there's a lot there for us to look at and build off of. Um, that just shows you what we need to improve. Like, we see that we have the fight in the last f few innings, but you know, can we do that earlier in the game when it matters? When the runners are on second base or third base with less than one out or when we have runners on first and second and no outs and I need the sack, you know, we got to get those little things down. And uh, so it's a lot of good things to build off of there. Obviously it wasn't our night, but um, dang it, there is no excuses. We left too many on base. We out hit them. Um, they had a few big hits with runners in scoring position. We just didn't do it. We didn't do the little things right that mattered like that. So um, I think it's good for these guys to see and they definitely need to build off that.